Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to float buildings. Now, I have my keyboard up here. Hi. Because my edit bind is E. So, just get into creative first. Alright, so I'm on this uh, completely original 1v1 map that I just made by myself. I did not find straight through the first result in the search bar. Don't ask anyone about it. But, the thing about this is now I have 20 ping. Now, this map has like no ping reduction. Now, sorry about the clicking. When I edit, that's pretty hard. Now, first off, the one thing you're gonna need is about 30 or less ping. So it's gonna be, or I'd say 40 to 20 ping. So it's gonna be pretty hard to float with, pretty, with bad ping. You have to be able to edit really fast. Now, the next thing I would recommend using, if you have like 40 ping or so, would be to use like, well, no ping or something, or like, what the fast. Now, what the fast doesn't work for me, because the login is just messed up, so I would be using that right now and have like 15 ping. But, yeah, the game is just a lot. But no ping, you have a three day free trial, so that's good. So I'd highly recommend using no ping. But it gave me like 15 ping when I used to have like 30, so, yeah, step two. Step two, I would say, would be to have the right edit bind. Cause let's say your edit bind is like space bar or something, or shift. You're not gonna be able. To, I don't know how fast you're gonna be able to edit with that. This is how fast I can crouch. That's me jitter clicking the shift bind, cause that's my crouch. I can edit with E a lot faster. Now, let's say you put both of your binds as just like your select bind for editing. So let's say building edit is E and select building edit. Let's put that as X. How about that? So now, you can still edit a little bit. Not that I re highly recommend having your having your uh, edit select edit as your left mouse. No, I still I'm still not the best Fortnite player. Like I'm pretty bad actually compared to a lot of pros. I can still edit really fast. Like I can do I can do some quad edits like can. Yeah, pretty easily. So, yeah. Now, I have terrible strategy while fighting, so. Now, here's the actual part where you float it. So, what you're going to do, the easiest one is Metal Cone, I think. That's the easiest one to do. So, you're going to build out somewhere. Say, like, over here. And you're just going to start editing. Now edit, if it goes off one, if the health goes off one to the building, then just completely stop. Because then, it, it, see look, it went to 8 and 9, you start to reset it. Now you're going to want to edit consistently at 1 HP for about 13 seconds, like this. 10, 11, 12, 13. Boom. It will eventually go invisible. Now, then it'll start doing this. Now, I do not know what Fortnite does, this is how it goes invisible. I do not know if you can do it with the wall either. I've never tried it with the wall. Let me try it. Okay, yeah, I did it with the wall. So, I think a really easy way, if you start getting out of the rhythm like this, like if you start like messing it up, if you're clicking your mouse and your edit bind differently, you're gonna look at your edit bind. So, like, minus E, so I look at E. So I know when my, to click my mouse, like right after. You know, my middle finger always says I'm gonna do it, and that's not like an offensive thing. Now I do not know editing a ramp is much harder because you have to be able to edit like ramps fast. So it's like I think you can do it. Yeah, like, I cannot do that. Like I, yeah, I, cause I have my reset and I scroll wheel. Now if you do want a scroll wheel reset, what you do is you go to your binds. And uh, building. So what you're gonna do is place building. Or no, <laughs> building edit. Your alt one is gonna be mouse wheel up. 
Now what this does is edit, and then reset the edit mouse wheel up. I don't know why it's also mouse wheel down. I can remove that. No, I want to remove that. I don't know. Okay, there. So now it'll edit and reset it whenever you do this. So let's say you, someone's peeking. So we can do that. You can put this scroll wheel. Now this is really helpful for a lot of things. Like if you're peeking and someone starts peeking, you can instantly reset. Now I'm not used to seeing this boom right in front of my face because I'm trying to get the audio sound a little better. But I recently switched to Streamlabs to OBS, so anyone who's watching, I'll put the link to my Twitch in the description. And it's my friend's YouTube because he just started and his Twitch. 13. 14. Fuck!